Let's get, it, let's get it, let's get it. Let it rain and take clear it out. Soup. Chicken noodle soup. <laughs> yeah, of course. Soup. With a soda on the side. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I love that song. What? <laughs> Everybody, what's up? This is Let's Blend. I'm Lindsay. This is my friend BK. Oh, hi. Hey. Lindsay from the, the world renowned Ruby. For those who are not familiar, I am <laughs> Lindsay Jones. I play the voice of Ruby in the show Ruby. I'm also an achievement hunter. I do all sorts of stuff, including hanging out with you, BK. What do you oh, do? Yeah. Oh, see, I am an achievement hunter as well, but I've been uh, hanging out with Inside Gaming as well as yeah. with my homegirl Kai on the cozy couch. So yeah. You might have seen me from there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you've been relaxing on the couch. Yes. You've been hanging out on the couch. <laughs> Very much. And I'm going to be doing more of that soon. So I figured I got to look cute though so I've been doing more VTubing stuff for the sole purpose of not needing to do my makeup but we are on let's blend oh, I'm yeah. ready so let's we'll be dramatic hang on can we have this a dramatic is... removal uh. <laughs> why did we both look so, so sleepy good. too I know we're like I know mm -hmm. this is me I walked into the office and I was like I don't have my makeup on I yes. just can I just have anything else and where's my hoodie over my head oh, yes. I just well, don't you have the things. nice scarf going on too I just I just went free free hair free free hair we did talk about like there's some times where we did, did do our makeup and mm -hmm. sunglasses save you so much on that when you can just throw them on and go oh don't worry about it my eyes look great they're very awake right now I'm not, there's no crow's feet no bad no oh my goodness we'll remove the the badass illusion I brought so many goodies they were Please. like, let's blend, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> and I said, okay. And I brought everything, almost everything I own. Please, tell me what you got. Too much. Oh. Too much. This is like my daily bag. So like I have like a little baggie that I pack and then I bring it to work with me. In case give us this day our daily bag of makeup. Give us this day our daily bag of makeup. I am blessed. <laughs> Lord have me. <laughs> May the brows be snatched and the eyeliner be sharp. Yes. It's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> I'm almost shedding a tear here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> God is real. Uh, so I've got like, I've got my daily stuff like highlighter, blush, concealer, anything that like may disappear throughout the day of me. Like, I don't know, hoverboarding okay. around the office. <laughs> oh, right. I was like, you hoverboarding just like in general? Um, being using a my scooter okay. to get from one end of the studio to the next. Oh, you're speaking from the 20 year old standpoint. Hang yeah. on, I'm power walking at most. Power most walking? Always. <laughs> Hang on, maybe clutch my purse a little bit. We don't know. <laughs> That's all I've got. Oh, also, goodness. just for setup, you mentioned keeping your makeup on. <clears throat> I, I use settings barely crazy. I sweat yes. a ton. What do you use before makeup? Do you the use anything to try and help you? Yeah. A rhyme. Instant activation, baby. It's prime That's time. right. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, it is fire. I really like this. It makes everything kind of like sticky sticky to your Ooh, face okay. better. Like a dewy primer? Yeah, Almost. just a little bit. It doesn't have any pigment in it. Sometimes primers do. They but do, yes. I pick I, out my primers, yeah. I'm good on that. And I kind of just, I make sure I moisturize before I came in. Smart. It's like my face be screaming for Jesus <laughs> when I don't, so. I'm usually all dehydrated. I'm chronically dehydrated. Yeah. Let me rephrase that. I'm chronically dehydrated. So I brought my coffee in to help with that. And while, <laughs> while I'm here drinking my coffee. Oh, you too? Um, <laughs> let's see, someone's got to wake up for this broadcast. This is a, my do it. Like, I don't even know what you would call it. Like, it's a hydrating, high, high, what's hyaluric? Hyaluronic. I can what read. The Mist. What the what? Wait, hyaluronic. Hi that's a new word that I just learned right here on this show. See, if you watch Let's Blend, you can learn new words. It means it's hydrating my face. That's this all. says hydraulic to me. Yes. I don't know what that's. The, the bottle goes mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, in the bag. Yes. <laughs> Much like the hydraulic will lift your car, <laughs> it lifts my face before putting my makeup on. I'm awake and alert. Yeah, we totally know car stuff here. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Listen, you got your 65 Chevy Chevelles, you're fine. Yeah. You the NOS, you give it the NOS. Give the NOS. Family, Cronus. And then it goes din, 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 Fast and Furious. Yes. <laughs> our, our brains just became one brain cell there in that I moment. I love that BK and I are on this episode too because I, I did wonder how much makeup's actually gonna get done. I sprayed my face with water. That's all I've done you so far. I sprayed my face with water. With water. Uh, how long do we have? <laughs> right, it's like, Normally, uh, like me doing my makeup, I don't just come in and I'm like, like surgical. Like I know people who are surgical. They do their makeup and they're like, yes. 20 minutes. That's mm -hmm. exactly how long I need. Mm -hmm. Doing my makeup's like an hour and a half. I'm with you. Two hour long ordeal. I've listened to three playlists by yep. the end of it and yep. had four drinks. Do you put on music too and you're like, okay, I'm gonna finish my eyes by the time this song is yes. done. And then six songs pass, you're like, I'm still not done with my right eye. 100%. <laughs> because oh, I'm no. at the point where it's eyeliner or mascara and like I can't mess that up. So uh -huh. if I start singing, I have to be like,
like, ah, oh, that too. Was that you getting ready? Like, uh, let's we'll go to like past BK, like high school BK, past BK. like early 20s BK, okay. living the life. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Were you with your friends getting ready for a night on the town? Yes. Were you guys just like gossiping, having fun? Uh -huh. Was it like all energy? Super, super hype, basically. Yes. Because I feel like that was you. That is me. I okay. am the, it's the party before the party. Okay. Like the kids are like, oh, let's let's go pre-gaming. And I go, honey, the pre-game started when I walked in the bathroom. <laughs> I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning <laughs> and I said, let's go. We're I pre going out tonight. breakfast. <laughs> That's awesome. College me had no, no filter. No care in the world. I don't know if I want that girl back though. I do, I'm with you. I do and I don't. I'm like, well, what were you thinking there? What was like, the plan there, Lindsay? Honey, <laughs> like, you're trying to get a degree. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> a degree of sanity is what I'm trying to get <laughs> back for if you're talking about me in my 20s. Oh my god. Similarly, yeah, I'd, I'd, same energy. Okay. Like Blast and Spice Girls was like for, Spice for my friends. It'd be like, oh yeah, oh, Spice Girls, Backstreet Boys, like Mandy Moore. That's 20 year old you. <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? The Spice Girls are from the 90s. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yep. There's yep. no, there's no way. Oh God, you're 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 a parent. Yeah, I spiced up my life. No, oh, you ago. did. You did. Long ago, BK. We missed. Uh, I missed that era. We would have been great friends. <laughs> yeah, I would have loved I mean, that. We are beginning. now, but yes. I need I need peak you in your in your everything in your essence. You're really discovering who you are. Like that. Thank you. Twenties are that's that's your time. It's funny. I'm laughing. I'm looking off screen at Barbara too. But like that was she was talking about so old. But I remember going downtown. <laughs> I remember clubbing till 2 a.m. <laughs> yes. I remember the fateful on 6th Street. <laughs> Legend tells that my knees once <laughs> bent without pop. <laughs> <laughs> they say the Megan the Stallion was formed from my creation. At the time, I could grind like nobody else. <laughs> They said, leave room for Jesus. I said, no. No. I said, who? Come find me when he's back. My dad's from Barbados, so I'm Bayesian. That's what that Ooh. means. I know, it sounds weird. It sounds like some sort of uh, brand. Uh, I don't know. Um, they think, people think I'm saying Asian wrong. No, no, it's it's Bayesian. Bayesian. There's a J. Grinding is like, like a cultural thing. I think I've seen, I, I sound so nerdy. I'm like, I've seen posts about it. Like, <laughs> I've seen this on the Twitter. On the TikTok. <laughs> Yes, the please. clock app. <laughs> you and your kids, your clubs and your clock apps. Your clubs and your clock apps. Picture this, you're walking through your go-to pet store, you pick up a bag of treats and don't recognize a single ingredient listed on the back. I have been there so many times. And if you've been there like me, you are in luck because Colorado Pet Treats, a woman owned Denver based company is challenging the way that things are done by creating a single ingredient dog treat without any filler or preservatives. When their ingredient list says chicken, they mean only chicken. And I have Remy's excitement to go by on this one. There are these sweet potato chip ones that like he's in heaven, these bison ones that I give him and he takes them and he just snatches it and runs away <laughs> to like go enjoy it. So stop settling for unhealthy overpriced dog treats and make the switch to Colorado Pet Treats. Visit coloradopettreats.com and use the code BLEND10 at checkout for 10% off your order. Order. That's B L E N D one zero at checkout. Thank you, Colorado Pet Treats. It's hard to find that go to pair of sunglasses that you can wear all summer long and beyond, but trust me, Shady Rays has them for you in their new tangle free aviators. The patent pending nose piece prevents these bad boys from getting all tangled up in your hair. See, it's great. I love them, wear them all the time. I also, gosh, I have so many Shady Rays. I love them. Um, they're my favorite sunglasses. And Shady Rays has the most insane protection in all of eyewear. If you lose, break a pair, even day one, they will replace them with a brand new pair, no questions asked. And exclusively for our viewers, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Head to shadyrays.com slash tanglefree and use code BLEND for 30% off their best-selling tangle-free aviators and much more. Save before they sell out and try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. Thank you, Shady Rays. No, but like, uh, it, the throwing it back is a, a tale as old as time in my culture. I love that. <laughs> That's your beauty and the beast. Yeah, it is, like it. it is. So like, it's very funny when you have like, certain family being like, no, 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 why are you having this 
person so close to you. Like, don't put your groins near each other. Like, oh. And my dad's like, look at them. Look at them. They're about to go upside down. That's look at incredible. that. Look at them. That's look at that. The legs are in the air. And I'm like, yeah, uh huh. Thanks. I can't do that, dad. I wish to go back in time and have that awesome culture shock. <laughs> like, ultra churchy Lindsay be like, oh, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> what's going on? Like, it looks like they're gyrating. <laughs> They're like, yes, yes, they are. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. See, I think that's really cool though. Like, I've done all sorts of different types of dance, mm -hmm. like waltz, foxtrot, we've done like hip hop, jazz, You et foxtrotted? I did. I went to a thing called Cotillion, which is like manor school what where the they heck teach you how to be a, a proper person. Wait, you were real life Princess Diaries? I, I, like, okay, yes, for a second. Yeah, I'm not even joking. Like, not. Not to where my grandma came and was like, you're a princess. And I was like, what? Right, but it was all everything up <laughs> oh before that. Oh my God, that. yeah. Like, that's so crazy. I didn't get tied back with an Hermes scarf. Yeah, you did. Chair, <laughs> but it was definitely like, here's where you put your fork and here's what? your spoon, your proper table setting. That's like, crazy. If you have this kind of a party, here's what you should wear. Here's how you should dance. Here's how you address your your host and your guest. It was, it was interesting. Very, very interesting. I didn't learn how to set a table, <laughs> truly. Like, I oh got it, it sounded so dumb. I don't know how to set a table. I don't know how to lay dishes out on the table. Yeah, I love it. No, but, but apparently there's like, like a specific way to do it. Mm -hmm. And like, they taught me it in home ec. That's uh. like one of my worst fears. <laughs> it's going to like a fancy restaurant. Oh, I swear to God. One of my worst fears is going to a fancy restaurant, sitting there, seeing a thousand utensils and plates and not knowing which one to pick first. <laughs> okay, like, I will never judge. I just like go for it. Anxiety. I think that's what, I mean, like, I, I like that I can pull out this information should I need to, but like, when am I ever gonna be attending that fancy of a soiree? Right? Really? Soiree. I, <laughs> I left that Dallas lifestyle behind. I'm good, <laughs> thank you. I tossed aside my beehive wig and I said, what? no, my no, y'all. <laughs> My high school experience was like really just mean girls. <laughs> like like the like the whole movie. Like Please the break whole it down. movie. Who were you in this scenario? Uh, the the home girl. We Lindsay uh, Lohan? No, not Lindsay Lohan. I remember her name. <laughs> You're good. I'm like uh, character wise, I'm like Janice Ian. I'm just gonna start listening yeah, to the, characters. Yeah, the the goth chick. Yeah. Oh my god, my favorite character. Your mom's chest hair. Yes. Yes. Her. Cause like. There were the popular girls. There were the cliques. Like that scene where they're like, the cafeteria is a jungle. Mm -hmm. That was real for oh, me. Oh, real? Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I did, was like, what is happening? <laughs> could you, did you also have certain tables where people would sit together, like that breakdown they have of like, yeah. here's where these people sit, here's where these people sit. Where were you sitting? Out with the nerds. Yes. Heck yeah. I was a. AP student. Yes. Honors student classes. AP student. Don't leave me hanging, AP. Yep. Yes, we're smarter than yeah. that. <laughs> we can high five. We can high five. I was a theater <laughs> nerd, so like. Yes. But I wasn't sitting with the band geeks, okay? Like, I'm a geek, but not a band geek. Like, I'm not trying to talk about tubas over lunch. There's a certain level of like nerd, and you're not. I keep saying it, but it's like, you're not wrong. So, you're not wrong. I fit into like the middle of the, the perfect trinity of band, choir, and theater nerd. Okay. So I was like <laughs> mid You mid had group. all three of them? Yes, it was a triple threat. <laughs> but uh, it was certainly interesting. And by interesting, I mean horny. Oh my Every, gosh, like, are you kidding it's me? crazy. Choir nerd, the, the theater say? choir band nerds are the horniest Ooh. people on campus. Yeah. And we're not talking about the trombones. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I have like crazy story. Oh, you will not believe the story. Uh, no, it was please, like the talk of the high school. We found <laughs> out that some kids got caught doing the nasty. No. Like, like red-handed got caught oh, doing the nasty. It only happened on two occasions at my school. Where, where were they? First, yes, Where? that's the question. <laughs> First occasion it happened, happened back into the, in the portables area. Where oh we had no, like the extra moving classrooms. classrooms. Yep. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they were up in the stairwell <laughs> doing some naughty naughty. Why is there always a stairwell? I don't know. Just, just from news articles I've read. Anyways. I don't know. <laughs> so everyone was like, oof, on edge because like it was scandalous and it never <laughs> happened before. And then choir theater band nerds took it up a notch. Oh God. They were they found. They pumped up the volume. Of course they, they were did. found on top of the piano. <laughs> what? Banging keys. <laughs> Stupid. What? Was it? I'm sorry. So is this like a grand piano that's in? The they piano were room? on top of the piano. Oh, having a grand old time. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. gosh. And I was like, ain't no way. Oh, it's a Steinway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You were hardcore judged if you liked anime. So yeah. It was, a, it was a lot to convince my friends who didn't like anime to come see Something Last Airbender with me. Something based off of an anime, mm -hmm. yeah. 
and then it sucked. And it was absolutely like, oh, I felt so deflated. Like, oh, no. no, they're never gonna like anime. They don't get it, they don't get it. Like, no, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. This is nothing like the source material. Yes. I promise you. So between that and at the time, not to just say BK, Revenge of the Sith. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was very disappointed my senior year. I'll you weren't a Revenge of the Sith person. You don't like the It's the, the high best ground. of the three, I think. That's a great part. <laughs> I skipped school to go see Revenge of the Sith. Again, dressed no, up. you did it. Mm -hmm. well, it was my, again, it was my senior year, so it was extra like senioritis. And my friends and I were like, Bleh. like That's we were kind of the the jerks in the back of the class going like, who cares? Just, so we went to go see Star Wars and I left going like, I don't know if I should have stayed in class. I'll be honest, I should have just chilled here. No, my, my only thing I skipped class for, it wasn't movies. It was for video games. Ooh, I was like a midnight release slut. And it was one time I'll never forget was we have like a quiz every day on like, I don't know, Wednesday, I'm just gonna assume. And we all knew it was like a class. It was a class like objective. There were like seven of us who all go, we're not coming in tomorrow. And we like straight up told our teacher, we were like, <laughs> by the we're way. not coming in tomorrow. This game's coming out. It was Modern Warfare 3. And we were like, we're not coming in. Um, we're gonna miss the quiz. Can we make up the quiz or no? And they were like, if you're not gonna come in, you, you can't make up the quiz. Oh dang, okay. So we were like, okay, Decisions. we're all gonna take the zero on the quiz. But when I come back in and we get back our test, it said a modern, modern warfare zero on all of oh, our- Oh no, that's so <laughs> funny, but so rude. I'll never forget it though. <laughs> like, I was okay. like, I'm gonna cherish this. Respect, right? You're yeah. like, I respect you teacher. It's like, yes. you know what? I appreciate you and I feel like we all knew. So you know what? I'm not gonna be upset. I I'm feel not like gonna be upset. that should be the mid 2000s. Like, you know, we have a lot of like, coming of age movies where like, guys, we're gonna fight the man. I'm like, that was you fighting the man. That it's was like, us. we're gonna go to Modern Warfare. Yeah. You can't stop you us. You can't stop <laughs> us. I gotta talk about how I've spent the last 10 minutes on my eyebrow. No, yeah, please. I mean, your eyebrows look awesome, by the way. And now I've it's I've been on Inside Gaming and yeah. I don't know what's up with that audience, but they keep talking about my eyebrows all the time. What? So now I'm self-conscious about them. They're the, talk of the, they're the talk of the town. The talk they're, of the town. I think they're great. Again, I'm Thank obviously you. like not on camera, but I'm like, I'm right next to you. Yeah. They're Thank flawless. You. Thank you. I was saying big, thicker brows are like making a comeback now. Uh -huh. So I'm using that as an excuse to just not, just not do anything. <laughs> not tweeze my brows, just go ah. You do them first. You put on your, your like base layer first, which I see often. I've seen, I've, I've heard you should do eyes first and usually I do try and do eyes, especially when I'm doing like a big eye look. If there's a lot going on, mm -hmm. I want to make sure I'm not dropping all my um, eyeshadow onto my cheeks because I've done that before too. But for something like this, I'm not doing like a crazy look. Mm -hmm. So I think it's okay to do my my face first. I also do a lot of color correction because I'm naturally pretty pretty pink, a little pretty in pink oh, kind of person. Yeah. So. so what do you got? I got some. Let's see. I do Neutrogena. So like a this is the undertone? yeah. Is this it? is the redness correcting one. It's just like color correcting primer. I'm traveling with Barbara. I love when we all put on our makeup. And my first step is like take a big slab of green in my hand and go <clears throat> just like wipe it all over my face. Like <clears throat> cool. Now I'm a normal color. <laughs> How about a show Joe? Yes. Oh my God. I'm so mad. I don't have it. I have an entire. There's this company called Bone Idol in the UK mm -hmm. and they make everything inspired by like shoujo anime what? characters. You would love them. But sorry, I digress. No, please. you're good. It's awesome. I got my baby Yoda palette. Yeah, little Grogu. I know. I'm trying to figure out what I want. I'm trying to think of like also just showing your palettes and like uh -huh. I like to try and keep it organized. I love looking at palettes from mm -hmm. again just like the, the colors are gorgeous. Just to look at that. This is <laughs> Clearly, someone without kids. <laughs> yes. Up their palette. Oh, 100%. I like to let my kids play a little bit. No. Like, this is ColourPop, so it's not like there's a little bit of a higher price point, but I'm also trying to teach them. Sure, to okay. Techniques, I guess. Oh, but, that's like, so beautiful, though. I love that you share makeup with them. You. They kind of, they went a little, oh my they went to town a little bit. We had some fun. There's craters in here. Honey, this is not watercolor. No, I know, I know. Yeah, it's Sweet very much turned into this. Heart. I was like, guys, we're having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> I love any makeup lover without kids are screaming right now, going like, no. No! Listen, sacrifices had to be made, it's cool. There's been just so much awesome stuff happening recently, at least with me, like when it comes to being able to like, kind of just do me mm -hmm. a lot. And like, I was curious if there's been anything like really good going on in your life. Little Mermaid came out. I was I joyous. <laughs> that was joyous. Honestly, something that brought joy to my life. Yeah is the Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. So I, I have not seen the new one yet. Oh my gosh, you need to hurry up. I'm going to, of course. You I've, gotta. I've heard wonderful things. 
Uh, Holly Bailey's amazing. Amazing. Fantastic. It made me want to go back and rewatch the original Little Mermaid. I did, immediately. Yes. I went yes. home and immediately watched yes. the original. Oh, no is hesitation. It, is it just as good as you remember too? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yes. They are so good. Like, th this is, I have not been a fan of Disney live actions. Oh, oh, it's crazy for a Disney fan to say that. Right. But yeah. like, they be doing the most. No, I agree. And it's different. And like, don't call it a live action adaptation if you ain't adapting it. I haven't seen any of the other live action films and I need to just to watch them, but I was never really interested. Yeah. I'm with you. Aladdin's really good. Okay. And I love a number of Disney princesses, but Ariel was like, my first, oh my like gosh. the OG. Yeah, because Ariel, so. like that, Ariel was like pre-Mulan, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. like all the princesses 89. before that were mm -hmm. like, damsel, I'm in distress, I can't handle myself. Mm -hmm. Have For a nice day. Yes. <laughs> I got you. Um, but you know, Ariel came out and was like, it's me and daddy, I love him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes, get it, tell him, <laughs> tell, tell him no. You tell him. Especially with the, like a modern feminist lens. There's been so many other Disney princesses that have been like released since yeah. then. I'm like, I still think and love that Ariel is sp like spunky. Yeah. She's very headstrong, mm -hmm. but she's still like a teenager. So there is that dynamic of like, I gotta follow what my dad's telling me. I don't wanna be too rebellious. Or like, like he says in the movie, you're living under my ocean. Right. Like, okay. Oh, 100%. And love like Ariel she was like reason. curious. Like mm -hmm. when you watch the movie, it's all like, oh, I'm like into little things. I'm not into this music stuff that my sister and my dad and Sebastian all want me to do. I want to, I have this like, you know, focus and interest on something else that like no one really cares about. Let it alone it being taboo. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that was just like me. Like in my mind, she was like, I want to be where the people are. And I'm like, yes. Me too, the people who like anime You're like, video I wanna games. Be where the weeaboos are. Yep. <laughs> I wanna see wanna, wanna see, see the subcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well now knowing how much of like Howard Ashman specifically is like life was inspired into the creation of the Little yes. Mermaid in the movie and his like fight for just like being himself, basically, mm -hmm. and the height of the AIDS crisis when that movie came out. I like I I openly admit like I cried multiple times watching it just going like man like one look how far we've come as a society yeah, yeah. two how shitty it is that people even had to endure that at oh, all 100% but three like that combined I'm like I will always think of that when I watch like this kids movie that seems so like innocent but there's so much behind it when you think about it it's mm -hmm. really I'm gonna go weep you right now oh we're Sorry. gonna cry yeah. right <laughs> now <laughs> no but it's really good a lot of people don't don't know that or they don't, you know what I mean like mm -hmm. it's something that you kind of need to wiki dive unfortunately when I feel like you know learning about stuff like that should be a little bit more at the forefront. It just adds so much more enjoyment to, I feel, the experience oh, when totally. you learn like stuff about the creator and why they're creating things and why they're doing what they're and the, and the yeah. obstacles they face in the midst of, of making it too. Yeah. There's a documentary on Disney Plus mm -hmm. called Howard. It's about Howard Ashman and him making The Little Mermaid and the Beauty and the Beast before he um, passed. Really, but, I didn't know that. Yeah, and it's awesome. Highly recommend watching cool. it. the whole connection with like. I don't want to sing or like Ariel. Yeah. The idea in the first movie is like, okay, I, Ariel is stuck in this stuffy lifestyle. She has to go to manor school. She doesn't, yeah. want, she doesn't want to learn how to foxtrot. She wants to go. Right, right. Oh my gosh, is it you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, like even in the beginning of the movie, Sebastian like makes a point where he's like, oh, like she never comes to rehearsal. She's always, she's never there. I'm right. Like, okay, like you said, it seems like she's not interested in, in singing whatever. or yeah. whatever it is, like this performance aspect. Yeah. But then cut to almost Two decades later, after the first movie's been released, oh yeah, yeah, we have Ariel's beginning, The Little Mermaid, Ariel's beginning, uh -huh. in which the entire plot is just the plot from Coco. Music has been banned because King Triton's wife was killed because she was playing with a music box, which is horrible <gasps> and tragic. And oh my God, how could this happen? So Ariel's like, man, I just want to sing. I just want to be able to sing. Why can't right. I sing? It's an like inverse footloose. Yeah. Instead of dancing, it's music. Literally, <laughs> flip, flip or loose. Flip yes. or loose. <laughs> <laughs> so then, yeah, the whole movie culminates with like King Triton going like, oh my, you know what? I was wrong. Music is pretty cool, man. Like you can sing, that's fine, go for it. And she's like, I love you, daddy. Yay, Yay. hooray. So I'm like, wait, I'm sorry. How does that make sense? Right. <laughs> Plot right. wise then, if later on, did she get tired of singing? Is she like, okay, never mind. Like dad, we were cool with this, but I'm getting a little bored. Yeah, maybe. A bored. We're in the era of content creation. And mm -hmm. you know, you have all these YouTube channels and like, you know, independently created projects and like us growing up like 
We only had fairy tale princesses. Yep. We only had Disney. Oh, there's like there was like two, maybe three studios that you could produce like content alone through, let alone animation. Yep. And like at the time that Little Mermaid came out, that was like height of. I don't even know if like the Don Bluth Disney feud had started yet. I don't. That think was so. like yeah, yeah. That was like the only other thing I can think of that was that major was like Thumbelina. Yep. <laughs> like you know. But, you're yeah. right. You're right. So it's it's nice to see them doing all these things like that, and it feels really awesome to feel seen and like see yourself represented in a character okay. that like you you related to mm -hmm. so much growing up. Dude, I love watching you and Kai specifically posting about that. And like I said, I'm like I heavily relate to Ariel. She's still one of my favorites for that reason. And like seeing y'all going like, this is my Ariel. I'm like, fuck yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Like, yes, awesome. It's just nice to, it's nice to have it. And like, again, the other Ariel still exists. Like yeah. even like at Disney at the parks, they right. still have both of the characters mm -hmm. around. And I, I just, I love seeing that and being able to see characters. Um, like be able to reach other audiences. Absolutely. Oh, watching yeah, videos of like all those girls just like meeting Holly yes. Berry and the press circuits too and like crying. I'm like, God, that's awesome. I mean, I sobbed like two to three times during the movie. No shame. Dude, you've been with me in other movies where I really should be have. crying. <laughs> like, uh, we went to see, <laughs> what was it? Uh, Satoshi Cohen's oh, uh, Perfect Blue. Oh, see, Perfect Blue and then uh, the Millennium Actress. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, yes. Satoshi, it was great. <laughs> I We were crying like babies. It and it's <laughs> just so funny because you can tell like there were people in there who I don't think knew what was up oh with no the movie there were like a lot more people who were just like oh it's some sort of anime movie yeah, let's go film. see it date night mm -hmm. art movie and we're in there like oh so there's Cohen. <laughs> you don't understand and, and we're so excited and we're watching it and I'm just crying at the art like the yes. music starts and we're like oh my god I appreciated you especially because I'm like I had I had gone out with you maybe like twice before that uh -huh. and it was usually like club scene like yeah, yeah like out we're, we're hanging out right party. right right we're having fun life's good and this is like oh no emotions and yeah. a lot of them <laughs> and BK so sweet like holding my arm I, I, like, I was like I was like I was like here you go are you okay <laughs> oh my god I'm sorry <laughs> it's me, me my man's just really she's going through some stuff okay I was like oh <laughs> I think I also resonated with a lot of like those fairy tale characters or Disney characters because they really always had some sort of like situation with like uh, like parents not being around or not being present mm. or just not understanding them. I kind of really related to that because like growing up, I had such a like difficult time understanding the dynamic I had with my parents, specifically like my mom and stuff. Mm. So it was like awesome to be able to see like that on the screen and be like, okay, like it's kind of normal. Yeah, you're like, like I'm not like, yeah. it's so easy to think like, I'm the only person in the world dealing with this thing. And like, no one can even begin to understand mm -hmm. the feelings. Or even I'm just feeling. the confusion of like, is someone feeling like I am? Mm. I don't even know. Yeah, you're right, sorry. Yeah, Good. no, no, you're right. And I feel like a lot of those like films that came out, I kind of like got that like Mulan hit me in ways <laughs> that I couldn't begin to express. Let's talk about gender identity and Mulan. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> please go on. No, Sorry. because it was like all these uh, these feminine stereotypes of what a woman and her mm -hmm. duty should be and a matchmaker, I'm gonna pour the tea, Mulan. No, I'm not pouring no effing tea. Yes. Okay. That was a good impression too. Why was that so good? I'm gonna pour the tea, like I heard it. I see it, yes, <laughs> my God. No, I don't want to pour the matchmaker. <laughs> I'm good, I don't need no man. I love my it. My life isn't destined by who I marry and becoming this person. Damn right, Ming-Na Wen. Right? Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, and be able to see that and that be the story mm -hmm. to the end, I was locked in. Completely. Come I also on. loved it. We had similar journeys. I'm sure a lot of people who watched Mulan kind of maybe felt the same way. Going back, like that lifestyle, mm -hmm. like manor school, like you mm -hmm. gotta dress a certain way, you gotta be a oh certain way. Oh my god, yes, it makes so much sense now. And I was like, I, this is so weird, but I was just talking to Michael about this recently, like at my school, women were allowed to wear pants for their uniform, but it was absolutely like, huge, not like taboo, but very frowned upon. Like looked down upon, like, oh, well, what, yes. you're wearing pants. Yeah, not even by like other students, like faculty too. Like, oh, mm, we really wish you wouldn't. Like, we wish you wouldn't do that. Oh. And I wore pants like every single fucking day. So Good. because of Good that, man. I had a lot of people be like, oh, you're a dude. Like, you're, you're like, this is what dudes do. I'm oh, like, 100%. now it's funny because I'm non-binary, but I'm like, yeah, yeah it's so stupid. I'm like, just wear more, more pants. Like, oh, come on. I have two stories that directly really, I went through the same deal. What the fuck? So like, 
A lot of people don't know this, but Why we're do you gonna air it? it a lot on Let's Play. Let's do it. I come from a Mormon family. Hmm. Um, I come from a Mormon upbringing. That is a religion that is very strict. Um, I'm in good relationship with my personal ward, but uh, a lot of things that they say you should do, specifically wearing dresses. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't understand how wearing pants would affect my relationship with God. Yep. I just couldn't, I, it didn't make sense to I me. I agree. I, you know. Um, also, and I want to be comfy. Right, I want to be comfy about to sit here for how many hours exactly. and praise Jesus. I better be in clothes that are nice. Right. Okay, so I went with that where my mom's just like. It's what he would want. You, But you need to dress s sacred. I go, pants aren't sacred? Mm -hmm. How could everybody else and they mom wear pants and I can't? Oh, I agree. Uh, uh, you know, I agree. and then I also dealt with when I was um, younger, I had to kind of, I had hair issues, not knowing how to deal with my crazy curly hair. Mm -hmm. I like grew up with white family, so no one knew where to style. begin, just where to begin. Like yes. I had to learn how to take care of my hair and what products to use and like what styles I could do with it. Mm -hmm. And before that journey kind of started, my aunt took me and got me a big chop and cut all my hair off. Oh my gosh. Like like Chris Brown, like almost, like just straight, like. Oh no. Almost a buzz. Oh. And were, that probably like, is the root of my trauma thanks? with my hair. <laughs> like, like thanks, there was nothing I could have done to right, it. Right, right. And now I have like, no hair, and now I'm going to school and I'm being called a boy right. because of my short haircut. And as someone who enjoys whatever that is, I like to feel feminine, mm. I like to feel that. And I guess I attributed that to my hair yeah. so it kind of being gone and then having that terrible criticism which is totally wrong it doesn't make any sense like why does short hair determine whether or not you're feminine right or right like, let's stupid, go back to the pixie stupid. cuts of the 20s I'm and saying, like, let's talk about right, that exactly right i appreciate too thinking about the family member who tried to help but that i feel like that happens so much on the yeah. opposite end and now i have kids where it's like yeah. I'm trying to navigate attempting to help and doing the right thing mm -hmm. and not accidentally making it worse. Mm. Not accidentally pointing more attention to an issue that my kid is having. Yeah. So I'm sorry that you're, yeah, you're trying That's to just like happened. navigate that. You're like, ah, fuck. I was like, I was grateful because it needed to be done, but I wasn't prepared. Mm -hmm. And it probably could have been done over time. Knowing oh, that too. Yeah. What I know about it and knowing how much, I didn't know how much the hair impacted me. Like you just don't know where you value things at that age mm. or what it what it means to you, especially when you're un trying to discover who you are and understand your identity. And that was all before, you know, we even begin to uh, dissect and like understand the spectrum that is gender. Like when we were young, it was just black and white. It was uh, mm -hmm. blue or pink, you know? Uh, yep. <laughs> and it was very frustrating as someone who was like tomboyish, but then getting told I look like a boy, but then being like very confidently assured that I, I, I feel like I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. So like, how do I express that? How do I look that way? And I feel like I'm still trying to figure that out to this day. <laughs> I feel you be fair. I hope you're able to, one, find any level of comfort. And I feel like you, it seems like you have yeah, a lot more comfort in yourself I have. now too. So. so much to the point where I've been, to you empowering me, I've kind of been using they a little, a little Heck bit. Heck yeah, dude, nice. Definitely still she, yeah. her, but it's, it's been awesome. Like I hear it and I get very excited. I'm glad. And I feel like that's the sign, right? Yeah. Like when it. You're like, that's me. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, you're like, okay, you start, you know, they're the awesome and I'm up. like, <gasps> Uh -huh. I love that. Yeah. So I was like, okay, this is probably this is probably right. This Good is probably you, something. Hey. So. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Congrats. I'm honored to be a Thank part of that. you. Shit. I've been only talking about a little. Don't know how to address that with family, but you know. <laughs> Just tweet about it like me and then never talk about it. That's <laughs> that's where I I appreciate that you're saying like you got the confidence a little bit from me. A hundred percent. I'm trying to remember who, aside from Ash at, at the company, really clearly they helped me be a little bit more confident, but I think a lot of just the fan base, especially with Ruby, there were discussions about like non-binary lifestyles, and I was—I didn't even like know what the what word that was meant, yeah. right a few years ago. I was like, well, "What is this?" And then I heard about it, and I went, "Oh, that's that's awesome. That's cool." And a lot of how I've been feeling since like high school. So I'm like, like, there's a word for this. Cool. Right. Yeah. Interesting. It's a hard thing to like explain when you feel what you feel when you find a label that describes you. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to be labeled, don't put me in a box. But when you've lived your whole life and you're unable to express or convey to someone feelings like that, there's something so satisfying and gratifying to be able to finally point to something and be like, that's me. This is Here's the mean. definition. This explains exactly how I feel internally. Yeah. Um, take your time. 
understand it on your own time and right you know it's, it's your own it's so cheesy but it's like it's your journey but it is yeah, yeah. It take some time to figure it out 100 percent. it's weird for me to think about children dealing with this in mm -hmm. high school or having even like these discussions because they just didn't exist when i was right in high school. same <laughs> i mean like the talking about being like the closet was still a, a phrase oh, actually absolutely. used like now it's like People are like, yay, Pride Month, mm -hmm. posting pictures with yeah. all these pride flags. And I'm like, I, love I didn't have that mm -hmm. as a kid. I don't I didn't even know what that was. Yes. Yeah. No, you're totally right. And <laughs> I I'm I feel like hooray for both of us. Yeah. Everyone else now that can can do that. hundred percent I was talking to Shelby, she went back to um, Dallas where I'm from. Uh, and she went to a Taylor Swift concert and same thing she was dressed like to the nines with pride flags and all of her friends were out just being like beautiful and openly queer and awesome and I was trying to explain to her I'm like you really just had to be there but like that was like not not only like not cool mm -hmm. but it didn't happen because you're afraid Period. like you're were, you were really afraid of like what could happen like you well, might you would lose friends like yeah. you would oh, absolutely at the very least or like they'd have an awkward conversation with their parents or like it was just a whole, yeah. whole thing it was so sad because like when I kind of came out was like in college, like most, <laughs> no, yeah. uh, when you're finally able <laughs> Wait, to what? express yourself, <laughs> uh, you know, you're away from family. It's definitely a common practice, but I know people who haven't had the opportunity I might have come to, to Austin be able for a to. Reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like when I did, I was, uh, I had a couple girlfriends at the time, but one of them was very like, I don't know if if you really love me, like, because, you know, at the time I didn't know what pansexual was, so I just mm. had bi. So they're like, well, you still like dudes and I can't give you that. Yeah, yeah but. And yeah. so I go, hey, I'll just come out to my Mormon family for you. And that should be enough to tell you that I love you, right? How'd that go? It didn't go. Oh. And then PK. my family knew. Oh, PK. And then I didn't have a girlfriend. PK, that's bullshit. I'm gonna judge fight him. <laughs> I'm reverting oh back to high school, God. Lindsay. Who do I fight? I Let me find him. It was sad, cause like, you know, there's an insecurity there. So like, yeah. I get it. And like, oh, man. It, I understood and I thought, okay, well, this is the best way to show that I'm in it. I'm invested. Yeah. I'm not afraid of us. I'm here for like, you. I'm here for you. Like, listen, if it were, if the tables were turned, I would have cried for that, in my opinion. Right, yeah, it was like, you are very brave, insanely brave. Like, I'm not even Again, being facetious. That's this is a Mormon really brave, family, dude. okay? That's brave as shit. I'm so sorry. But I am fortunate enough for my family to have come around and been pretty accepting there you go. Um, and understanding at least. So that was nice. And honestly, I'm very lucky to have that because I know a lot of people don't. Uh, do you ever have, this is such a weird segue, but whatever. So in the times when I was trying to just like discover my sexuality and like figure it out, probably starting on college is when this started happening is I would have dreams where I would be like, talking to a girl I had a crush on in high school or something. Yeah. I was like, hey, like, you want to date or something? Uh -huh. And they'd be interested. And I was like, oh my God, it's happening. Like, oh my God, uh -huh. I, I never thought this would happen. This isn't possible. This is crazy. Uh -huh. And then in my dream, it would be like a psych out and like either the dream crush or my brain would be like, JK, you're dreaming. Ha 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 ha. No. And like my own subconscious would make fun of me. Like that could never this happen. This will never, this is not real. <laughs> right, I'm like rude. Oh my <laughs> gosh. The disrespect, how dare you brain. I know, come on. <laughs> so there's this great media called anime <laughs> and familiar. they have a lot of things I'm called in. waifus and I feel like I it was on pretty quickly something my brain knew I was into at a very like young young age I just like knew I should never really talk about it mm -hmm. which was like sad because I went I don't know man I feel like <laughs> There shouldn't be a problem here. So who cares who I love? Exactly. And I like also, I'm just saying, mm -hmm, as I'm doing my eyeliner, I'm just trying to make sure it's straight. I'm Listen. Like, it sounds like I'm disinterested in It's hard to mm -hmm. be straight. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> Boom. That's why we always go for the wing liner. The wing liner. <laughs> Curve it up. <laughs> but I'm glad you spoke on that because I had similar feelings where especially growing up in a religious household where it's like, this is wrong. Like I I should right. not be feeling this way. I remember right. like having feelings and thoughts about this girl I was crushing on and like stopping them and going like, no, 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 no. Like, don't do that, don't do that. This is wrong, like, like you shouldn't feel like this, this is bad. And if anyone knew that you were thinking like this, Shame. You know, what would they it's say? It's not on you. Yeah, it's right. not on the exactly. cow. The cow. <laughs> exactly. That's literally what it would feel like. Oh, and it was goodness. so frustrating because I, I felt like turned into, you know, someone that I wasn't or had to like behave not authentically myself. So like once I kind of, 
process that um, and recently, you know, I kind of just truly accepted that I refused to ever be someone that I'm not. Get it. Like, I just refuse. That's a cool feeling. I don't have time for it. Mm -hmm. I It is too much energy to pretend. Like, I can only be me. You're also only on this earth for so long. Right. Like, how much of your life is going to be pretending? And I get people who you can't. Like, you, yeah, you pretend because you're safe. Yeah. Exactly, I get And like, that. if that's what you have to do and that's going to keep you safe and keep mm -hmm. your peace, do what you gotta do. It's a lot of strength. I. I'm not built that way. It is not me. I'd argue that's an opposite. It's a it's a different type of strength, but that is the strength to go no. Mm -hmm. I'm, mm -mm. I'm oh gonna yeah, be my that's authentic beautiful. Self. Yeah, right. I Two never thought of it that point. way. I was looking at it as a weakness. No, no, I think that is strength. I think absolutely. Can Don't you? make me cry just put my eyeliner <laughs> oh, yeah. on. <laughs> this is not waterproof. This is Mac. Um, we're <laughs> listen. Oh God. Um, okay. What was it? Sorry. Did I put on the wet and wild? What I put on? <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, oh no, I don't know if this is waterproof. Dear Lord Jesus. I'll, I'll ask before the tears start running too. <laughs> did you have, cause I did somewhat recently mm -hmm. for me have a moment where like you felt like you could participate in Pride Month or like celebrate your, your queerness because I absolutely felt like in a weird way I had this like, you're not queer nor should you want to be like it's bad mm -hmm. and then i finally accepted like no i'm having these thoughts but then it was the opposite end of like you're not queer enough like you don't sure you're not act like you're an imposter you're not really queer like you just, no. you're, just part, you're part of the trend i get what you're yeah. saying there's yeah. definitely a stigma there when it comes to like uh queer people in heteronormative relationships it often kind of too, like yes. erases mm -hmm. that like queerness or people look at you like oh you're bi but you're dating a dude to like, mm -hmm. are you bi? Yes, I am. Right. What, what, this is so. This is so stupid. Yeah. I, I felt that too. Not even with just being queer, but also being biracial. Like, am am I? I'm not white. I'm not black. I can't. I'm not black enough. I'm not white enough. Like, <laughs> like I'm it's, me. So I'm me. Right. So it further solidified me being like, I can't pretend to be either side because I'm both. I can't pretend to be anything that I'm. I'm not. I'm just me. And if you don't like that, yeah. Well, I have the F confidence now. I say F you, bro. Exactly. And I F you, it. and F you, and F you, okay? Say it, CeeLo. Let him know. <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> Trying to think about, again, the, the allure of Austin was mm -hmm. very, again, Little Mermaid-y. I'm like, I want to be. Be where the queers are. I do. I want to I, I want to kiss, want to kiss some lesbos. <laughs> um. <laughs> Rocking around on those. What do you call it? Doc Martens. <laughs> <laughs> we all know. <laughs> but seriously, that's incredible. Why does it slay? Oh, no. oh, <laughs> Just imagining the, the rock scenes like, psh, psh. <laughs> a very excited woman behind me. That's yes, all, that's all I can't. Just I some can. compared to the best night of her life. That is it. Can we please get the, yes. the parody cover song? It's like, you, go, you want thing of Bobs? I got 20, and she just holds up like carabiners. Stop! <laughs> oh my god. I love this. This is, this is my little mermaid. My this first. is it. This is it. Well, going back to the, like the real life discussions too about like, are you queer enough? I'm like, I don't know. Like, if you if you think about it, I think that is very very much a similar framework of like people who are bigoted. And, yeah. And, like you like you shouldn't be queer. I'm it's like, kind of like are, gatekeeping. It, it really is. It's gatekeeping, but I feel like it's also the same. It's similar energy of like either way, you're telling me you don't get to be queer, and I'm like, I don't like that. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Mm. Like I feel like I'm the only one who gets to decide that, but you know. Right. Exactly. You and Janelle Monet. I, I, the only people who can tell me. Do not talk about that woman. <laughs> Listen. That, do not talk about that. That woman need to relax. She's got the entire internet horny on main she, right now. She knows damn well what she's doing. I know. Like, Look, just put her. the biddies away. Listen, if there's like a parental coalition of Pixar a parental characters. parental coalition. I think, listen, <laughs> we know they fuck. Oh, They've had three kids. Come on. I mean, I mean, even like the... The Aunt May of Big Hero 6, I don't remember. Oh her yeah, name, no, like I know the auntie. About. Yes, yes, bad. yeah. She was she was a baddie. For bad. Sure. She had she I loved her zaniness. She was clearly so working so good. hard. She was exasperated. So good. Her cat was amazing. She's a cat person. Mm -hmm. It's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out to all the moms out there. You know what? We'll go, we'll we'll loop it in. Mother's Day passed not too long ago. Shout mm -hmm. out, you know? Anyone out there? You rule. Especially 2D moms. You're the 2D best. Moms, Dexter you're moms. The best. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Dexter moms. Oh, that was a good one. She was a good mom. Dexter mom, listen. 
The gloves? I was like, oh, what are the gloves for? Listen, um, something's dirty. Oh my goodness. And it's not, it's not the dishes. It's not the dishes! <laughs> <laughs> hey. You're such a sad, I'm a mom too, so I'm like thinking of all these. I'm like, what would, what would I say if I was trying to be saucy? Oh my, I, I love the mom, but what would, what would I say? I, I do. I'm curious. I go like almost Midwest, I guess, with all the list. Yeah, like, so cute. Get, get in the car. All right, let's That's go. such a good voice. <laughs> yes. I think the look is complete. I'm cool for with this. Me. I got my my just get some lips though. My mat on. That's why I said I put on my mat. Lips. And I was gonna do my little my little lipstick trick to make okay. sure you've got no lip on the inside. Nice. Ooh, show me. You Here's just it. Ooh, okay. And then okay. it'll clear off any residual on the inside so it doesn't get you? on your teeth. See, I've done that with like my finger, but I've never done it with the I just do it with the smart. lip because like smart. my fingies be all dirty after like It's true. Clearly not using the right brushes to apply my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. My hands are covered in foundation. Too, yeah. So. And I have a foundation brush. I just never use it. That's good. Well, because your hands can, if you don't use a beauty blender, which I do too. Mm -hmm. But like the whole point of a beauty blender, or at least I was told, is like you got to get this wet with warm water. Yeah. So that you can properly blend. If you do it dry, it doesn't matter. It just kind of like sticks to your face. It doesn't actually give you good blending. So I went, eh, I'm not dealing with that. I'll just use my hands. Mm -hmm. And then the natural warmth from your hand kind of helps. Helps it, yeah. yeah. It helps kind of, uh, what should I say, like smooth out your foundation a bit. Mm -hmm. So, this is, yeah, science, prove me wrong, please. Science, please, please. <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> your hair looks awesome too. Thank oh you. Gosh. I had to like, that's like my beginning process. You gotta start with the hair first. Mm. Cause like when you get into the makeup, you can't have the hair in the way. And like, I gotta have a lot of product in it, so. That makes sense too. Put on the curl cream, so the curls are popping. Are you deep conditioning at all too? Deep I... condition, I didn't deep condition today. But I I'm did overdue. put in my coconut curling cream, which doesn't Ooh. work for all textures, Ooh. but my hair loves this, and I can just kind of add more definition to my curls. See, it's not for my texture, but you had me a coconut. Yeah. Sure. yeah. There are some good ones that are like similar brand that help moisturize like other hair types. Noted. Straight uh, and flat. That's yes, hair yes. Yes. <laughs> well, listen. There's volume to be had in all hair looks. Okay. You just gotta make sure you zhuzh it up the right that way. That was so ominous and beautiful. You sound like a, a wizard of hair. Like, there's, there's volumes to be there's had. There's volumes to be had in your hair. Yes. And you will love it. Oh my God. <laughs> Call me more. Oh, look at this color to top it off. A nice little pop, baby. Thanks. I appreciate it. So do you also, I'll ask, cause this is like a summery mm -hmm, look mm -hmm, for me. Mm -hmm. I usually, I gravitate between like, Darker tones or any type of like jewel tones with my makeup and my hair when it's cooler. Mm -hmm. But now it's spring going into summer. Summer's almost started. So that's when I usually do a lot of pinks. Cute. Like, like, like Bone Idol here, which I love. It's the company I talked about before. Hey, that's awesome. And that's why my hair is blonde. So yeah. I love it. Your hair looks so good. Thanks. Like, well, especially this year, everyone's doing Barbie core. So I extra Barbie feel the need. Barbie core, like, there's a name for yes, it. Yes, of course there is. Look up that aesthetic. I should have. Barbie core with me. my problem. Let's go. You can be Issa Rae, I'll be Margot Robbie. Yes! Be great. <laughs> Let's go. All about this. Also, I'm Kate McKinnon. What am I talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry. Anywho, I feel like now bust out the pinks. Like, this is the time to let your pink shine. I'm thinking This pink. is the time to thinking pink. Yes. Pink. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. Barbara's known me long enough, too, to remember Lindsay in the phase where I was like, I'm just not a pink person. I don't do pink. That is me, except for my anime blush. Now I drink Which y'all saw me do in real time, if anyone ever wants to do it. It's cute. over the nose. Aw, that's cute. And you go pink or go home. But I think I'm ready to conquer the world today. Yeah, I'm feeling That's like, you know, that's what I call it. It's, it's your war paint, right? It does Did feel you put on your war paint with us too? I hope you had a fun time. Are you ready for battle, fellow warriors? Yes. Let us charge into the day, fully makeup in full. Excellent. Yes, we have blended and lined and shaded and contoured. And now the men won't see us because we're shapeshifters. <laughs> shape on out of here. <laughs> BK thank Yule. you, and thank you for hanging out with us today. Yeah, y'all are the best. Uh, enjoy more Let's Blend. Please check out other shows on AGNW. Um, they're airing now, I'm assuming. We got some episodes out of Cozy yeah. Couch. Cozy Couch is there if you want to hang out, do a little game and love, but tons of other shows, whether it's trivia, whether it's podcasty, or more makeup stuff, so check it out.